What's the secret to a successful launch? Well, I just wrapped up a launch over the last week or so, and in this video, I'm gonna pull back the curtain and show you exactly how I did it, so keep watching. Hey Posse, what's up? It's Alex coming at you this week with a super juicy behind the scenes snapshot of how we do all of our launches over here at the Copy Posse. But before we get into all of that, if you're new to the crew, welcome. Right here on my channel, you'll get the lowdown on the copywriting, marketing, branding, and entrepreneurship tips you need to kick ass and take names in the digital age. So if that sounds good to you, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit subscribe below and don't forget to ring that bell to be notified when my next video goes live. Now, if you saw my video last week, you know we talked all about the the art of social selling and how many, many brands will use their social media to promote their offers heavily from fall to spring every year. Yes, it is launch season. Now, social media is an important part of any launch, but like most things in life, it's not as simple as just posting about your new product or launch on all of your social media platforms and then expect to have a smashing success of a launch. Nope, great launches take a little bit more thoughtful planning than that. Ever since I started the Copy Posse back in early 2020, I have done about three to four product launches and promotions every year. So after doing approximately 12 launches over the last three years, we have found a launch strategy that works pretty well for us, and that is what I'm going to talk about today. Specifically, I'm gonna take you behind the scenes of my most recent launch, my five-day Posse Eye brand voice challenge. But before we get into the nitty gritty, I just wanna say that this strategy is not the only only strategy. There are hundreds of different variations of launch strategies that you can follow. I'm simply sharing my personal experience and what has worked well for me. Cool? All right, so with that, let's get into it. Now, if you've been following me for a while or watching my videos for a while, then you probably already know that I am a huge believer in attraction marketing. I have spent most of my time over the last few years creating content just like this and building my list and audience completely organically. I don't do a lot of classic direct response marketing. I don't spend tens of thousands of dollars on paid ads every month or get tons of affiliates to promote my stuff. Now, hear me out. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. It's just not really my style. And if you're a small business owner just getting started, buying traffic can also be pretty expensive. And that is exactly why I went the content marketing route and spent most of my time over the last few years nurturing and growing my audience with high value content and then promoting my new products and offers to them, to you, my audience. And for us at the Copy Posse, that means we start seeding our products months, yes, months in advance. Which brings me to the very first step of our launch strategy, seed the product. Attraction marketing means your customers are compelled or attracted to buy your product or service without being pushed or coerced to do so. And one of the ways that we can accomplish this is by dropping subtle hints of the benefits of our product way before we even mention the product or service at all. And we do that so by the time our launch comes around, our audience already knows the importance of whatever it is we're selling. We are educating them throughout our marketing efforts. They're already excited about the possibilities and in many cases, they are already super ready to buy. So as an example, we didn't officially launch the Posse Eye Challenge until November 7th of 2022, but we started posting about the power of brand voice on our social media months in advance in early September. So we spent the better part of two months doing all this prep work to educate our audience and of course get them excited and primed to buy from us. And we did all of this without mentioning that we would later be offering a program to help our audience do this exact thing. So step one is to educate your audience, see the importance of your product and do all of that prep work. Then once your launch date gets closer, you move on to step number two, which is to announce something is coming. Okay, so up until this point, you've been very subtly educating on the importance of whatever it is that you're about to promote, but now it's time to be much less subtle. About three to seven days before we start promoting a new product or launch, we do a little teaser of what's coming. Now, the goal here is to very much communicate to our audience saying, hey, something is coming and here's why it's so epic. Of course, we want to build anticipation. So remember, you've been educating them on the importance of whatever it is you're launching now for months and really priming and prepping them so they're ready to buy. This teaser should give your community a feeling of finally, I have been waiting for this. 
Now this is also when I'll start emailing my list and maybe running some paid ads like I did in my most recent launch. So now we've actually moved into omni-channel marketing where we're sending messages through our social media and through email and through ads to really increase the likelihood that my audience will see what I have to say. So for our latest launch, we posted on social media and sent out emails about three days before doors actually opened. Remember, you don't wanna give away too many details of your offer just yet. You're just letting people know that, hey, something is coming and make sure to come back on launch day when doors open. Open. And if you've seeded the importance of the product well enough, then you should have a lot of really excited people on your hands. And that finally brings us to launch day. Step number three, a seven day promotion. So I love to do a seven day promotion on basically all of my product launches, but you could do longer, you could do shorter. It's totally up to you. But here's what my promotions or launches look like. I send a daily email to my list promoting the offer. I post twice a day on social media promoting the offer and I use user generated content, videos and carousels. And then I run paid ads to promote that offer, a lot of retargeting to my existing audience. And I know that sounds like a lot, but honestly running paid ads is totally optional. I didn't start running ads actually until last year and I have done plenty of successful internal launches without any ads. And I already post on social media twice a day. So really the only thing that I'm really kicking it into high gear is emailing my list. So I go from emailing my list about twice a week to emailing them every single day for seven days. And I can't stress the importance of this enough. You've heard me say it before. Email is irreplaceable in launches. I don't care how big your social media following is. If you haven't built an email list from that community, then you are really, really leaving money on the table and will have a hard time monetizing it, period. So for every single launch that I've ever done, the majority of my revenue actually comes from email marketing, not from my social media links, even though I have hundreds of thousands of followers and subscribers, not from my ads, but from email. So in my most recent launch, well over 50% of revenue came from email, 30% from organic social media, and 20% from ads. So if you take anything from this video, let it be this. Start your email list now, even if you have nothing to sell. I started my list about a year before I ever had anything to sell. So start building your list, start nurturing them with really high value content and start building a relationship with your community. Then when it comes time to sell, launch, or promote something, it's going to be that much easier. But you are not done yet. There is one more step in my launch process. Step number four, step up your customer support. So I am a big believer that a community that feels seen and heard is a community that stays loyal and continues to buy. That's why my team and I do our best to interact with every single comment, message, and email that we get. And during launch time, this is so much more important. You really need to step up your customer support and make sure you answer every single question that comes your way about the product or service you're launching. And remember, time is of the essence when it comes to customer objections. The longer it takes for you or your team to respond, the more time they have to convince themselves that they just don't need it. So if you normally check your messages once a day, maybe step it up to twice or even three times a day during your launches. You want to get people the answers they're looking for ASAP so you can help them overcome those objections and of course chat with them about any concerns they might have. And the same goes for after customers purchase as well. My community groups are popping and that is because my team and I are in there all the time answering questions and offering support. And there you have it, my four step launch process. Step one, seed the importance of your product. Step two, tease what's coming. Step three, heavily promote with omni-channel marketing for seven days. And step number four, step up your customer support. I hope you found this behind the scenes insight helpful. Until next time, I'm Alex, ciao for now. All right, guys, if you enjoyed that video, make sure to check out the next one from me right here. And you can click right here to get a free gift. Want to increase the likelihood of hitting your revenue goals by 51%? Well, then it's time to learn the art of social selling. In this video, we're gonna break down social selling, what it is, what it definitely is not, why it matters, and most importantly, how you can begin to utilize this genius marketing strategy to increase your sales, impact more people, and retain customers for life. Stay tuned.